Here's how to set up voicemail on Android. Now let's open up the Google phone app. I'll walk you through the Google phone app as well as the Samsung phone app. Now, when you're in here, the easiest way to access your voicemail is to tap on the keypad here. And all you're gonna do is tap and hold on the one. You can see right under it is that little voicemail icon. So I can tap and hold on one here and you can see it calls my voicemail. Now I've already set it up. So it will essentially say, hey, what is your pin or password? You can just type in your keypad and then just enter in your password there to start listening to your voicemail. However, keep in mind, if you haven't set this up yet, it might prompt you to enter in a pin. This is essentially a pin number that you wanna use in case you want to call your voicemail and use that to check your voicemail instead of a visual voicemail. I'll talk a little bit about that as well, but you can enter in the pin and check everything now. Now you have some other options as well. Let's just say not now. You can tap on the three dots at the very top right and then tap on settings at the top. Now from here, you can see at the very bottom is voicemail. So let's tap on the voicemail option and you can see depending on your carrier settings, you can turn on visual voicemail. This is where you can see a transcription of that voicemail. You can see if I try to turn it on, it doesn't allow me for the network or the carrier that I currently have, but you can also go into advanced settings and go around and mess with all of these voicemail settings to have it set exactly how you want. Now, if we hop out of here and instead you use the Samsung phone app, let's set this as the default. Same as before, you can press and hold the one and it will call your voicemail. Same as the Google phone. Again, you can set a pin by doing that. You can check your voicemail, etc. Now on here at the top right, we can tap on those three dots and then we can go into our settings. From here, you can look for the option for voicemail. Tap on voicemail. You can see the service provider, the voicemail number that's associated with that voicemail and notifications to turn them on and off. Now within here, there is actually a separate visual voicemail app. So if I swipe up to the app drawer, I can tap on visual voicemail here. And if I go to set it up, it says, all right, you can't set it up because your mobile network doesn't support that. But of course, if you do have one that supports that, you can set up that visual voicemail again so that you can see that voicemail as it comes in. Just see a text of it, be able to listen to it without calling your phone number.